Now what I want to talk about today is coral buffer capacity. Now the skeletal structure of a coral is made up of calcium, carbonate, magnesium and various things that the corals will pull out of the water. Now if your calcium, carbonate, magnesium, pH and so forth is all correct, then these minerals will diffuse into the coral and will become part of the actual structure of the coral and the um, very strong dense skeleton of the coral will be very healthy. On the other hand, if over time the calcium carbonate, magnesium and so forth is depleted, then the corals will have a buffering capacity or they have an ability to use the, um, the elements that they've actually collected over the time and used as a, as a um, solid skeleton structure. So the magnesium, calcium, carbonate and so forth is somewhat able to be re-dissolved out of the skeleton of the coral for the use of the actual coral. The more acidic environment will allow this within the structure of the coral. So if you have a large coral head, I've actually sawed them in half before and actually got some sort of glimpse into the history of that particular coral because you can see very clearly that the skeleton is very dense where the coral has been healthy and you'll see that the skeleton is much more brittle or fragmented or porous in times when possibly the calcium carbonate and so forth has not been adequate for the um, animal in the gr growth phase that it actually is in. So the idea is to ensure that you always have adequate supplies of calcium, carbonate, magnesium and so forth in your water so the coral can go on growing healthily. Now some corals will go into growth spurts and so forth but as long as you have at least a minimum amount so I would be looking at a pH of 8.4 I'd be looking at a KH of at least 8 I would be looking at a magnesium of at least 1200 and a calcium level of at least 420 and then there's always going to be adequate levels in order for your corals to be healthy if your pH goes down to 7.8, your KH goes down to 4 and so forth, that doesn't mean the corals are going to die straight away because of this buffering capacity. But if you don't improve that water quality, it is a time bomb and it is a race against the ca buffering capacity of the animal because that will only suffice for a small period of time until the animal will actually die. So nice high levels, um, dosing pumps are really the key because a dosing pump takes the human element out of it. It just means that you need to make sure that there's um, liquid in the dosing pump and it means that um, you just need to test it every now and then and adjust the dosing pump as need be. But staying on top of your levels and keeping your levels elevated is really the key to long term coral health and making sure that these levels don't get depleted to the point that the buffering capacity of the coral is exhausted and the coral can die.